Amy. Well, now some breaking news that happened overnight. Adult film actress Stormy Daniels was arrested in Ohio during a performance at a strip club there. And now her lawyer is fighting back, calling her arrest unfair. Our Matt McCutcheon has been following this for us all morning. He has the latest on this developing story, Matt. Well, Ben and Julia, good morning to you. And new this morning and only on Sunrise, we're hearing from her attorney. And just within the past 15 minutes, we've received this booking photo of Stormy Daniels. Now, her real name is Stephanie Clifford, and she's facing three charges of touching. A 2007 Ohio law, as it turns out, says it is illegal for dancers to touch or knowingly be touched. Clifford is accused of touching three undercover police officers. This is video of Clifford being whisked into the Franklin County Jail overnight. The Texas resident has a court date set for tomorrow morning at 9. Reached by phone, her L.A.-based attorney is responding to these charges. Well, I have reason to believe that it was politically motivated. There's no question that these officers were undercover at that strip club. They knew that my client was going to be performing there, and I find this to be a complete waste of resources. I, I can't imagine that there's nothing better uh, that law enforcement has to do there than stake out a strip club. So let's take a look now at that claim. The mayor of Columbus, there on the left of your screen, is a Democrat. The governor there is Republican, but isn't necessarily a Trump ally. You may remember John Kasich also ran for president back in 2016. Now, an article published just last year by the Columbus Dispatch took a look at that law that's on the books, which started back in 2007. They found it actually resulted in no charges in the city within the past 10 years. So some people may, might wonder why these charges in particular aren't more severe here. Right. Matt. When you hear that she's accused of touching three officers, you might think there might be different, more severe charges. But it appears all those, charge, or all those officers were undercover. So there's still a lot to find out in the day ahead of they may have had body cameras on them as well as surveillance from inside that club it is a story we know the nation will be watching today. Yeah, it certainly yeah. will. All right. Thanks so much, Matt. Now to our other top story here this morning. Two more people